What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Flying Brown's Garage. In today's video, I guess you would call this, I don't know if it's part 4 or part 5. We'll figure that out in a minute. Um, of General Lee. And we have a few things to do this thing on this last episode. We are trying to source a transaxle. We are going to lock that transaxle and put that transaxle in. We are going to install our shifter, our brakes, and a few other odds and ends. So, that being all said, let's get into the video. So, we'll just start off by saying this came in the mail today. I had ordered this for it. This is a replica. <clears throat> license plate from the General Lee and we are going to install this on the General right now it is successfully installed I think that looks pretty good I like it so, this is part four, as I thought it was. Um, we had a couple of extra things to our list here. Let me get this off of here. The trans lock and install brakes and the shifter. We installed our tag. Let's get that out of here and then battery and box so let's get to the battery in the box now and then we will bounce back once we get a transaxle located to lock it install it and then do our shifter and our brakes and then we will be done with this project all right we now have our generally project on the lift it's getting ready to be lifted up so we can do a transaxle on this guy and belt system and all that good stuff so stay tuned and uh, not gonna do it right now but here soon enough we're gonna jump back on this project it'll be a day or two for me second or two for y'all all right we are back on the general lee about to drop out this transaxle real quick. It's a hydrostat I had put in here just to roll it around. I think it came out of that green Murray in the back. But we're going to go ahead and yank this out of here and get ready to lock our new MST-206 that we'll be installing. So let's go ahead and get the wheels off get this thing dropped out of here and get it prepped for the new transaxle
Ну, Alright, we got it out. Got a fresh space for new shit. Let's see. That down. We have our old transaxle here on the table along with our new donor. We're gonna have to fight to get this pulley off of here. And we're gonna have to disassemble this thing. Clean it, lock it up, reseal it, put it back together, figure out the brakes, because that's a opposite. It's a pull brake instead of a push, and that's designed for a push. Uh, maybe I can integrate something with the shifter deck lever there. Alright, well we got our transmission, uh, gave it a clean shower in there, I um, wanted to use some hot water, didn't really do much, I'll probably uh, break out the pressure washer tomorrow after I let this soak, I got some oil there to soak down in there, I also took a wire wheel and uh, I chipped away all the rust and chipped away the old ring uh, clip that was on there, snap ring clip, um, and cleaned all that with a wire wheel, and now it's soaking, so hopefully we'll be able to salvage that hub. If not, I might just uh, cut that pulley off of the transaxle with the hub on it, and then just put a new pulley on there and weld it. Uh, this transaxle actually has the bolts in the middle on the bottom, so that makes it a little easier for me to be able to disassemble it without having to actually take this thing, take the uh, pulley off. But we're going to let that soak overnight. We'll come back out here tomorrow. Uh, soak it down with some more awesome and pressure wash it get it clean See what we're working with Because um, I want this transactal transaxle to actually look good in here Because um, it's supposed to be kind of like a show build racer. It's not going to see any mud or Anything extreme so if it's not looking too good, I might paint it um, so we're going to let that soak overnight. We'll come back out here tomorrow and uh, pressure wash it, see if it looks good. And if it looks good, we'll leave it as is. If not, we'll paint it. So, see you guys tomorrow. Alright, so it's been a few months since we started this thing or even worked on it. So, I actually just uh, reinstalled the uh, ground wire and uh, put the battery tray back in it. Put the battery back in it. And we're going to fire this thing up today and see how it runs. See if there's anything needs to be fixed or cleaned on the engine before we move on to the transaxle. And then after we run this thing, we'll take the transaxle here down to the garden hose with some of that awesome and uh, pressure washer and clean it up. And then we can go ahead and start this assembly. So let's fire this thing up and see how it runs.
turn with some light for you guys. We have our trans racks cleaned up the best we can get it. Um, there's a little lot of rust on it from its settings. It was on that Murray that sat for five years in the woods by a lake, so I would expect this to be from it. But we cleaned it up the best of our ability. We're going to go ahead and start trying to disassemble this thing and look at see what our internals are looking like. Get that cleaned up and start welding our diff in there. So we'll have a oh, front flying Brian's locker in there. And then we'll go ahead and reassemble it, regrease it, re or not re, but install it into our into its donor, I guess you would say. So, let's start tearing this thing apart. I'm gonna take a quick second and pause video and ask y'all to help me with something. I need y'all to do me a favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Smash it. Smash that bell. Uh, go like the videos, uh, you know. Tell me where you're from. Say hi. Whatever. Ask me questions. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Um, and I cannot do that without your guys' help. Um, so definitely go subscribe. Check out the Facebook, the uh, Instagram, the Snapchat. And now we have a TikTok. You can just go type in Flying Brian's Garage and you will find me. Um, all the profile pictures are the same. It's easy to find. Um, and yeah, give me some likes, give me some subscribes, and all that good stuff. I'm trying to build this, and I can't build it without everybody's help. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, got a lot of good videos coming, constantly coming, um, and I'm constantly sourcing new projects. So, stay tuned, and with that being said, let's get back to the video. So since this thing disassembles from the bottom, there's usually two screws, two bolts, right here under this pulley. Well, on this specific transaxle, they're accessible from the bottom, so you don't have to pull this pulley off. I think we're going to leave this pulley for last. I don't even know if I'm going to unseize it from here to be honest with you. I might just cut it off and weld a new pulley on straight to this application without removing it. Um, so let's go ahead and start with our disassembly process. Get this thing apart and see what we're working with. Alright, we'll go ahead and start zipping the screws out. bolts you always want to clean this off first so you don't get any debris any crap in the Contaminate your grease or your fluid or whatever you're running. That was almost in the way. Same with that. But, able to manage. Most of all of these bolts, if not all of these bolts, and most of these transaxles are all the same size so you can just keep them all in a pile. We'll pull our brake off.
broke. Well, we got a bolt to extract. Luckily, it broke right there at the head. Not that big of a deal. I'm sure I have one to replace. It. Let's see this works. Here's our last two bolts on the bottom side of the case. They have been removed. Alright, so we got our seal broken on this thing. We're about to crack this thing open. We've already got a whiff and it 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 stinks so bad. So let's get our case off. Oh God! Yeah, that's that's hard. We have a. MST-206, it looks like it's in good shape. It stinks like I'll get out, but it's in good shape, so that's what matters. Um, we're going to turn this real quick. Let's cycle the gears and look for any chips or broken gears or... No, it looks good. guys well we got us a good trans um, everything in here looks good except for this stinking ass fluid but I'm gonna clean this uh, this housing up on the inside and clean the gears we're gonna put some probably some new trans fluid in it and uh, run it so let's go ahead and start getting this thing cleaned up and getting it ready to lock the transaxle. Alright, so we got our case cleaned up. I cleaned the bottom side too the best I could with the wire wheel, but I can't really flip it over right now because I've got a got the spider gears lined up for welding. And I know I've showed this in a previous video, but if you're going to lock your transaxle, you want to make sure that your spider gears are in the right spot. Because they will slide into the teeth and slide into the slot. You can weld it, and I've seen it before where you weld it, and then it's just, it, the axle's not straight, so it walks inside the case. And you don't want that, so you want to check both sides make sure it don't walk make sure the spider gears and the gears are working right everything's turning like it should just like so see it's not walking in that case it's staying in its groove everything's pressed down and, and in its home so this thing is ready to weld we're gonna go ahead and tack all four sides one two and then the back side and then the back side and then we'll weld it and then do the other side and have this thing cooled off cleaned out and then we will go ahead and put some new fluid in it seal it up and reassemble it
So before we go take this case to clean the bottom half again, top half's done. It's all nice and clean and ready for assembly. Um, the bottom half, not so much. We have to remove this broken bolt off this brake. Over here, the left bolt for the brake caliper actually snapped off. Uh, but luckily it left all of that. So what we'll probably do is I think I'm just going to try to heat it up and back it out. I don't think I'm going to try to weld anything to it because the more I heat it up, the more it's just going to weaken that metal. And it's not going to want to come out. So I'm going to actually heat up the aluminum around it and heat juice, heat juice, heat juice, and just not too much heat for the aluminum because it can, uh, I do believe it'll crack it if you heat it too much. So, uh,. <clears throat> We're going to heat that and try to get this bolt out of here with a pair of vice grips. If not, then we will resort to trying to weld something on there and trying to back it out. If not, we might be SOL, have to cut it flush, drill it out, and retap the hole. That's worst case scenario, and that's, I hope, no case scenario. All right, we just got our transaxle back up in the shop from being cleaned out, stride it out, getting all the little BBs off the case, cleaning it up. I believe it's clean enough because old Marshall approves. See, he's happy. He said he said it's good. So so that means we're good since he approves and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start reassembling the gears in here then we will fill it with fluid and then we will go ahead and start sealing back up our case getting this thing back together and then all we'll have to do is our pulley swap and then we'll be ready for installation into the machine it's going to be a donor for. So, let's get to work because Marshall says uh, it's enough playtime. And uh, I've been goofing off too much. So, he says I need to get the transaxle done tonight or I can't go to sleep. He, he, he's kind of strict. So, i got to get to work, guys. All right, so clean case. We have filled it with trans fluid, and we are now have our sealant on it. We've let it kind of tack up a little bit. We're about to go ahead and connect the top back with the bottom. Um, now these gears are still on the top, so what you're going to want to do is make sure that your keys, little square keys, are still in place. Flip this sucker. And then drop it in. Mean. Okay, we got one side that did the thing. One side did not. Sometimes you just got to get in there with something. And Sometimes it's easier said than done. 
but we got this case together. Let's go ahead and start zipping our bolts in. We did have just enough silicone to do this job. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start torquing these down. I'll be back with y'all when I'm done. Alright, we now have a fully reassembled MST-206 that is now in working order. It's in neutral right now, but shift the gears, everything's nice and free. It's got fresh trans fluid in it, a fresh seal. Uh, the brakes have been cleaned up and freshly uh, greased and all that good stuff so everything flows freely and the brakes do work so this transaxle is ready except for the pulley swap so what we need to do is we need to figure out a pulley to swap this out with uh, get this one off and swap it out and then we can install our new donor transaxle generally Alright, it's gotten a little too late to do anything else. Um, we do our, have our transmission reassembled. Everything is lubed, brakes on, all that's been reassembled. We got our shift linkage in the right position that we want it. And all we gotta do tomorrow is get a pulley on here and get this one cut off. And we can install this transaxle into the general. Me and Marshall are tired. You can tell he's tired. Look at that face. He's so tired. We're going to go get some sleep. And uh, we'll be back out here tomorrow to hopefully finish this up. We might have this thing actually... Uh, moving tomorrow so that would be great i cannot wait to do that and i cannot wait to ride this thing i want to see how fast it's going to be so hopefully we have a belt size that we need and uh hopefully everything works out as planned so all we got to do is pulley get it installed wheels back on with the keys in it get the shifter figure it out, get a battery in it, tire aired up, and get a brake figured out, and we're riding, so let's get out here tomorrow and get it done, see you guys then, alright guys, it is the next day, back on the General Lee, we got our transaxle locked up last night, cleaned up, sealed up, new fluid got the brakes functioning um, the only thing we have left to do is the pulley so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and cut it off while it is on the transaxle that way i don't have to fool with getting this off once i pulley swap this it's going to be permanent anyway so i really don't need to worry about getting that off of the the hub off of the uh shaft there i'm just going to cut around and get this pulley off and then we'll slide another one over it and weld it so let's get to work for the day all right we were able to successfully cut our pulley off of that hub here's our old pulley need that anymore 
we're going to go ahead and find a smaller pulley to weld on here. So let's go locate one and get that welded up so we can go ahead and install our transaxle. I'm ready to get it in there. I'm sure y'all are ready to see this thing running and riding just as I'm ready to ride it. So let's get it done. Alright guys, after almost all day of working, trying to get this metal shaped right to fit this, we now have our pulley on our transaxle and it is straight as an arrow. Straight as I can get it. It's probably the straightest I've ever gotten a pulley, so um, should work good. So, as of now, we are ready to go ahead and install our donor transaxle into the general. So, let's get it up in there and see how it's going to fit. See if we have any battery box clearance and see what we're going to do about our shifter. down and then we will have us a live axle pulley swapped MST-206 swapped into the beast or I mean into the general all we got to do is add a couple of front trans mounts and get the pulley hooked up or I mean the belt hooked up to the pulleys should be ready to almost ready to ride this thing Definitely not enough for battery box. That really sucks. The battery uh, box is not going to fit under the seat. There's not a lot of clearance. But that's what I opted with when I lowered it. Got to figure out another way. So I think what we're going to do is figure out where a shifter's going to go. 
And then what we'll do, after we figure out where our shifter is going to go, is we will do our battery box. Get it mounted up. Alright, we got our transaxle in, but the pulley didn't line up at first, so we had to do the same thing we did on the red tractor and lower it. If y'all didn't see that video, what we did was we gave it a lift, and unfortunately we had to give this one a lift, so we lowered the fenders more. So I took that plate out up here and just bolted the fenders directly to the body, or the frame here. Um, we need to go through here and weld this up on both sides, on both sides of the mower, both sides of the frame, and then we'll have everything secured except for a trans brace on each side. So let's get doing some welding and get this done. Alright, so we got our <clears throat> transaxle lowered, we got our brackets welded. Um, we had to find a third bracket for our trans mount, which I will just weld right here. And it's bolted in down there. So tomorrow all we got to do is come out here, put this wheel on, weld that, get the belt system right, get a battery on it and a shifter, and we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and call it for the night and uh, see you guys tomorrow. All right, we're out here. It's another day, and we're back on the general. Um, I had to fix something on the red one. Uh, kind of bent the wheel yesterday, so I had to fix that first thing. Now we're back on the general, but I do have a shifter installed. And that is our shifter. I couldn't get anything to come up to the side over here, so I just opted to go through the bottom. I'll have to do a little paint touch up, but no big deal. But we have our shifter. It goes in all gears, and we're good to go. So, there's no room for a battery box now. Not under the seat, not not under the uh, thing there. So, I don't know what we're going to do about a battery. Might have to just be a unit that gets jumped off. Because there is no room for a battery. But if we get a belt on it and get the uh, pulleys lined up in the front, we can ride this thing tonight. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to keep on keeping on and see how far we can get. Got the supervisor out here to supervise the job. Marshall's got to tell me if I do it right or not. So, let's see. We got this thing up in the air. Um, I'm trying to get the pulley system uh, figured out now because I've got to add a couple of idlers. It is. I don't have a belt quite this size. But I feel like if I add a couple of idlers in there. I can make this belt that almost fits fit. So, as you see, that's where we weld on our shifter. For one, I need an idler to go this way because the belt rubs on the shifter. So, I'm thinking I took this flat idler off of that deck sitting over there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to come over here with this, and I'm going to put the flat idler right about there. And let that thing kick this out so that belt's not going to touch the shifter anymore. And then what we'll do is we'll come in with this one here. Just imagine that one here going this way. We'll get one going this way. like a, a V pulley going that way and then we'll just kind of get another V pulley over here to bring this over this way and then that should tighten that belt up 
We'll put some belt catches in there and then should be uh, good to go after we hook up our shifter or not our shifter but well technically our brake lever I guess you'd say that's the one thing I need to figure out is a brake lever <clears throat> we're going to use the deck lever but I need to integrate it into that that trans lever so let's uh I think I'm going to drill a hole real quick and put that pulley in either that or I might just get a bolt that'll fit that and just weld the head of it on all right more progress I've been working at this thing for some hours now um, I got a belt on it I finally got one that fits I had to put in some idlers so I've got one back here and the brackets are welded in, but I'm still able to take them off and replace them if needed. So I've got a V-idler there, a V-idler there, an idler there. That's a flat idler that goes to my trans. And then we got our flat idler, V-idler, which is a clutch pulley. And then our, got some belt catches on the front with it declutched that's what it looks like so I do believe this setup's going to work I also readjusted my pulley here and got a lot of that slop out it's kind of unfortunately it's like right there uh, it's like too low I might have to do something about that but we've got uh, let's see got our pulleys done we need to get our brakes done uh, we're not going to have a battery on this as you see there is no room for a battery not under the seat, not under the hood. There's just no room. So, we got to resort to just jumping this thing off. It's going to be a jump and run. It's starting to come together good. I need to put some belt catches in the rear and then hook up the brake system. All right, we added some rear belt catches. They are not fancy, but they will work. So, let's get light. It is 1.16 in the morning. Um, I'm probably gonna try to figure out the brakes. Because really, that's all, I, that's all I have left is the brakes. And then this thing is ready to G-O. So we'll be riding this tomorrow for sure. I can't wait. I wish I had room for a battery, but that didn't, uh, didn't play out too well. You know what? I may see if the battery will fit there with a shifter without a battery box right in that area because if I could I could run a strap from one side to the other strap it in let me take the battery off the red one real quick and see see if I have enough clearance for the shifter with a battery there I hope I would I don't think I do but I hope I would so let's check that and see all right last update for the night we have gotten to our brakes but we haven't got it done yet I'm gonna have to finish those tomorrow unfortunately and we're not gonna make our deadline of today but that's just part of it we did get our belt system done we did get our 
battery cables ran. I did figure out that I do have enough room back here for a battery. And the way I have this built in here, this actually acts as a battery tray. So it sits right above the pulley. And it's going to work. So we're actually going to run our battery on the back. And we will have a battery. So <clears throat> this unit will be complete, which I am very happy about. But it is late. It's like 2.10 in the morning. So I'm going to call it for the night. I hate that it's went on for so many days, but that's just how it is with some of these projects. But I'm going to call it a night, go in here and get a shower, go to sleep, and get up tomorrow, finish these brakes off, and slap a battery in it. And we're ready to ride. Can't wait. See you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, I actually just rode general. So steering, extremely responsive, almost too responsive. Um, runs good, rides good, has a little bit of a pulley clearancing problem that will probably self-clearance after I ride it. Um, other than that, it actually rides pretty good, so I think we're going to try to ride this thing some. Y'all see little do donuts. I actually knocked a hole in the fuel line with the tire there. And uh it's spewing a little oil. I'll probably have to put a catch can on it, but damn will this thing run. Ooh. Good lord. We might have to get a rake and fix our driveway. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Well, we didn't get the brakes done, but we got this thing running. We got it right. Damn, is it fun. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, I love it. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope you guys love it, too. If you do, go down there and leave me a like. I had to come get my hat. Uh, comment down below if you want to say something, have a question, or just want to, you know, interact. Um subscribe if you haven't done so yet because you're just gonna see more shit like this and that shit is awesome I don't give a damn who you are it's so unorthodox it's ridiculous lawnmowers ain't supposed to go that fast and they're not supposed to cut donuts but in today's video you can see <laughs> you can make it work Look at that thing. It looks stupid. Oh my god, it looks so stupid. But boy, do I love it. That thing is so cool. Like I said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out the Facebook, the Instagram, the Snapchat, and the TikTok. The only one that's different is the Snapchat. It's Avatar. 
Um, everything else is the same profile picture as the YouTube channel, so all you got to do is go to those platforms, type in Flying Brian's Garage in the search engines, and you should find me. I post different content to those than I do to the YouTube, and uh, kind of get a little sneak peek into, uh, you know, what's going to come for the next video. So, y'all be sure to do all that. Go and check out some of the older videos. Uh, we got some good stuff back there. Got some really good stuff coming, and we're about to be working on remodeling, or reamping the shop with what I got so um, yeah y'all stay tuned to all that and check out the other platforms and stay tuned for the new ones and I will see you guys on the next episode